didn't like what you see. However, I thought there were a number of times in that game where Mack was sort of left for dead and never got buried. I thought they could, that did a really good job of avoiding that and kind of just, like we talk a lot of times, just kind of hanging around and, and all of a sudden found themselves in a game that maybe they didn't have much business being in, but were in it, had a chance to win it. I think there's positives. I'm not sure how much the coach takes from a game like that. I thought it wasn't certainly their best performance, the cleanest game, but it was a fight, and sometimes you got to kind of answer the bell in a fight, and I thought Mac did that. Yeah, Bradley Palmer mentioned when I spoke to her between games that she was she's happy with how they played. She's not happy with execution early on and on that final possession. It, it was a possession they could have won the game on, and they turned it over, and it resulted in a loss. And now the men's matchup, Middle Area College has been on a roll until they ran into Three Rivers on Saturday. And, but just by score indication alone, I know you saw the game down in Poplar Bluff, 83-57. Did the game feel like an 83-57 gap? It did later on in the second half. To open the second half, it didn't during the first half. At the at halftime, Mac was down 17, and it felt a whole lot closer than being down 17. They just came out in the second half, and like they started that the first half in Poplar Bluff, they were unable to hit shots early on, and that it led to their downfall and they were unable to come back from that. And Three Rivers had a, a t big man in Lamar Wilkerson. He put up points, he put up rebounds. They, the, t f the official scorer only had him for nine rebounds. I had him for 10 or 11. He was easily in double-double territory. Huh. Well, Middle Lake College starts a big part of their schedule with regular season region play. You got West Plains, you got Moberly, you got a non-region matchup with Lincoln Land, then State Fair, West Plains again, Three Rivers. This little stretch here that Mac is on, a Southeastern team went up and went up and saw them lose two. You're going to revisit them. I beg your pardon. That was Southwestern Illinois. This is Southeastern Illinois with Marquez Burst. You're going to go to their place. But the region portion of this slate, it's going to be big for Mac and what they're hoping to do because that's what Coach Strike has talked about all year. Once we get to those region games, well, here you are. And it was that Three Rivers game. Strage talks all the time about how his, his team's defensive-minded. They're good defensively, good on the boards. There, that was just an, another thing they weren't able to accomplish, really. They weren't good at offensive rebounds because Wilkerson was there a lot of time to, to pick up the glass for Three Rivers. It, it's just one of their games where they didn't come out like, like they were good, you know, ready to play. And they're going to need to come out and look ready to play tonight against a good West Plains team. Take a break on the pregame show. Come back with more from Middle Area College as the Cardinals play host to the West Plains Grizzlies after the Lady Cardinals fell to Wabash Valley in game one, 72 to 69.
It is time for the Mineral Area Men as they take on the West Plains Grizzlies in the nightcap of the JUCO Level College starting lineups. That's Greg Allen. All right, partner, thank you so much for the West Plains Grizzlies led by second-year head coach Jared Fay, a 6-1 rookie out of Wayne, Michigan, Isaiah Lewis. Nico Hill out of New Zealand, a 6-6 sophomore. Sabian Dillard, a 6-3 freshman out of Lexington, Kentucky. They'll start the Nigerian Ugo Ezi, the 6-8 freshman, and Sterling White out of Virginia Beach, Virginia, a 6-1 freshman. For the Middle Area College Cardinals, who had their 12-game win streak snapped Saturday in a loss to Three Rivers, they come in 14-4 to be Luke Strike in his seventh season. They'll start the Rock Island, Illinois product, Jameer Price at guard, a 6-3 sophomore. Keontae Jones, a 6-5 sophomore to Madison West, Wisconsin. You've got Brett Thompson of Oakland, California, a 6-1 sophomore. The Jackson, Missouri product, Gavin Harris in the starting lineup tonight, a 6-4 sophomore. And Keenan Sarvin from the Netherlands. Last year played at Coppin State University. He is a sophomore at 6-10. Middle College, again, 14-4. West Plains at 8-11. The Cardinals are averaging 78.9 points a ball game. West Plains at 74. Cardinals going to attack right to left on your listening device. They are in the home whites. Letters and numbers red outlined in black. Red stripe underneath the armpit, down the pant leg. Mineral area in black and around the base of the pants. It's red in front, black around the back. It'll be Keenan Sarvin in the center circle for the tip for Mineral area and he loses it to West Plains, but it's going to go off of Ugo essay and out of bounds but they're going to say it was off of Keenan Sarvin Isay won the tip for the Grizzlies but it rolled out of bounds off of a Cardinal it's a rough start when you've got confusion and you haven't even played a second of the game <laughs> so now it's inbounded and Lewis has it between the circles in offensive territory the Grizzlies left to right on your listening device now Pass up high to Hill to the near side, White. He's going to dribble to the far side, get it to the far wing, Lewis. Back to White. Now to the near side. That's Sabian Dillard. Back to White to the far corner. Hill on the pump fake. He's guarded closely. Sent down low. Three on the shot clock. Now two. Bounce pass. Three from the far corner at the shot clock buzzer. It was no good, and Gavis Harris got the rebound. That missed shot from Nico Hill. The other way, Keontae Jones. He lays it in. And he's got two, and we get a full timeout from West Plains. We'll take it with him. 19-22 to go, 2-0 the score. Mack on top on a Wednesday night. Play in progress off the inbound. West Plains with it. It's Isaiah Lewis. Pass picked off. Coming the other way. Jameer Price up and good. Jameer Price lays it in. Price and Keontae Jones to open the scoring for Mack on back-to-back -back layups. It's 4-0. We're one minute into tonight's game. Well, I'm fearful if we got a timeout in the first 38 seconds and then the next possession results in a turnover easy layup. We might be here a while with second-year head coach Jared Fay. <laughs> if he didn't like the first 38 seconds, he didn't like the next eight. Here's Lewis on the near side, to the, down to the near corner for three. That one's Nico Hill, and he connects. And now it's a one-point advantage, Mac, with the rock. It'll be Brett Thompson to control. 36% well, from three for Nico Hill. West Plains is a ball club, 34.3%. 
Sarvin has it. Now to Thompson at the near wing. To Gavin Harris. He's going to come up to the near wing after receiving that pass and getting it off to Keenan Sarvin. Now Keontae Jones far side to Thompson. 10 on the max shot clock. Number 10 with it. That's Brett Thompson. He's into the paint. He's going to pull up. He's going to pivot to the cup. As he went up for a shot, he's fouled. I believe they're going to go with Sterling White. Pretty. No, they're going to go Ugo Eze. So Eze with the foul. Boy, that was a heck of an up and under little move in the paint by Brett Thompson. You kind of show the ball one way and then you go the opposite way and just sort of leave your man. Nice little play in the paint for Brett Thompson. First one from Thompson, good. He's a 76% shooter from the courtesy stripe on the year. He's at the stripe to the left. Either one of these teams shoots it all that poorly from the foul line as the second one also in for Thompson. Mack is the club at 72.2 from the line. West Plains at 75.3. That's not, not terrible. Sterling White with it on the near side. Pass it beneath a leaping Gavin Harris. There's a shot from Easy. That was denied by Keenan Sarvin. He got his own rebound and put it in. Easy with two. Thompson with it. The other way. Offensive territory now across the stripe. Got it to Sarvin. Now Keontae Jones. Gavin Harris near side. At the wing, it's Brett Thompson. Had Jones cutting to the cup, doesn't use it. Sarvin back to Thompson. Near side, into the paint, to the far side. Gavin Harris, he's inside, kick back out. Sarvin near corner, nine on the shot clock. Now eight, over to Jameer, Jameer Price. Five on the max shot clock. Kicked out, Brett Thompson, far wing three, and that one's good. Brett Thompson with five. And it's a nine to five advantage, Mineral Area. Quickly the other way, West Plains, and we get a whistle. Stepping out of bounds, that is Sabian Dillard. The second West Plains turnover. That last possession for Mineral Area, there's a lot of perimeter passing, but it didn't look like they knew what they were supposed to do off a lot of those passes. And it eventually ends up in a good end result in a Brett Thompson three, but I'm not sure that was the plan from the get-go. Thompson with it now, angles to the far side, got it to Keontae Jones, down low Sarvin, spinning in the paint, kind of fade away jumper there from five, wasn't good. It was rebounded by Lewis. Lewis gets it back straight away, offensive trip for the Grizzlies. Kick back out to Lewis from Dillard. Lewis unloads the three straight away, no good Sarvin there to collect, and now Harris. Gavin Harris the other way. Jameer Price on the near side. In offensive territory. Nearly walked. Got it to Sarvin. Now Harris. No look pass. Jameer Price near wing three. And it's long. And picked up by Trey Breland. Who's in off the bench for the Grizzlies. And now Lewis to the near corner. That's Dillard. He pushed to the cup. Instead circles back out and has it to Lewis up high. Lewis down to Breland. Just inside the arc by about half a step. Got it over to the far side. Nico Hill unloads for three. Jameer Price receives off the glass. And now he crosses the timeline. 16-20 to go in regulation. Jameer Price got away with the walk there and lays it in. Well, if you're not going to call that a travel, that makes the hat shot a whole lot easier. I was with you completely, though. Basket made. Price with four. Lead six. Grizzlies with it. Near side, Lewis. Sent it down low on the entry feed. Got it to Sabian Dillard, and he laid it in. That's a lot what we saw out of game one with Wabash Valley's women. Movement off the ball without the possession turns into easy layups at the rim. Exactly what West Plains did on that trip. Good play. Thompson across the timeline to the far side. Keontae Jones to the cup, and he's going to flush it. Jones with four. It's 13-7. Well, Mack with a hot start. They've connected on five of their first seven, and they lead 13 to seven, played almost five minutes of the first half. Lewis with it to the near side, pass to White, back to Lewis. Back to White as they play catch from wing to wing. White unloads the three, shot no good. Offensive rebound though, that's Breland. He went to put it up, and it's good, and they're gonna call a flop here on Brett Thompson. So Breland gets two there. Out-of-town school board check of that boys high school game currently airing on AM 1240 KFMO. End of quarter number one. Hillsborough with a 9-7 lead over West County. Not a lot on the high school docket tonight. Max women lost early tonight to Wabash Valley 72-69. Jameer Price pass picked off. Picked up though by Breland. Coming the other way, it's the first Mac turnover. It results in the third West Plains turnover as Gavin Harris picks it up off the floor. Now Keontae Jones on the far side to the cup from two, leaps and puts it in and fouled. Jones with six and he's going to the line for the and one. Well, Keontae Jones and Jameer Price have come out hunting the rim. 
I mean, both have made concerted efforts just to get it and go to the cylinder. Many pieces with the foul. Jones gets the and one. He's a 68% shooter from the line on the season. First attempt here. Back rim, no good. Nico Hill picks up the rebound, and now it's Sterling White to control. Across the timeline with the pass, it's Trey Breland. Breland in the center circle. Pass poked away by Kante Jones, but Breland kicks it to his teammate. No whistle there. Here's a three ball from the near wing, and that gets nothing but nylon from Isaiah Lewis. He's got three, and it's a 15-12 advantage, Mac. Six of the first ten shots in the ball game from West Plains have come from perimeter. They are not afraid to shoot the three, that's for sure. Thompson across the timeline. Now to Jameer Price on the near side in front of the official scorer. They've only made two of those six. Back to Thompson. 12, 11, 10 on the max shot clock. Thompson straight away to Jameer Price, far side. Gavin Harris in the far corner, back to Price at the wing. Price in. Three on the shot clock. Brett Thompson nearly walked, picks up his shot, or pick, excuse me, picks up his dribble. His shot was no good as he had it knocked out of his hands. The other way, it's the Grizzlies. Here's a three ball from the far side. Missed everything. That one was hit off the head of Jameer Price, but they're going to go out of bounds off of Trey Breland. It'll be Mac Ball. They shoot the three. I mean, that's what they do. They come down floor, get a shooter, give it to him, and go. Got a substitution late. For the Grizzlies, it'll be Luka Novakovic coming in. I was noticing the roster when I put the sheet together. Boy, they have a number of different countries represented by the guys that come out of West Plains and play for the Grizzlies. <laughs> Price to Thompson on the far side. Getting the play set up, directing traffic. 12 on the max shot clock now, Harris. To Thompson, straight away. Takes one step, got it back to Harris. Near wing, three, and that one's good for Gavin Harris. Six point advantage for Mac. It's the Grizzlies with it. Crossing the timeline, that's White. Now to Isaiah Lewis. Back to White as they play catch, wing to wing. Now Lewis had a three. Thompson came out quickly though on the pump fake. Pass over to Trey Breland. He's at the top of the key, he's gonna dribble to the paint. Take about four steps, go for a layup. It was offensively rebounded by Pieces. And now that shot no good. It was Keenan Sarvin there to collect. Jameer Price the other way for the Cardinals. Pick set by Sarvin. Pass to the far side, Brett Thompson. He's going to shoot a three. It was no good from the far side. Lewis picks up the board. He's quickly the other way. Into the paint, pulls up from six and puts it in. Lewis with five. Four point advantage mineral area. And now Thompson. 12.30 to go, picked up his dribble before crossing the timeline, passed to Gavin Harris, now gets it back. Brett Thompson between the circles, angles to the far side, got it to Price on the first state community bank logo. Dish down low, it's Harris to Jameer Price, and he steps out of bounds on the reception of the pass. It'll be a Mac turnover there, second. The ball movement on that possession by Mac was really, really good. In, out, cutters flashing. And he never got a chance to step on the sideline, turn it over. But I liked where that possession was going. I wanted to see the end result of it. Luke Strage having a conversation with the official about media timeouts. And are we that special? I guess we are. <laughs> and Strage will take a timeout. We'll take it with him. 12-17 to go in the first half. Score 18-14. Mineral area on top on KFMO Sports Plus.
Inbound, West Plains with it off the Mineral Area timeout. Sterling White controls, guarded by Brett Thompson on the far side. He's going to angle to the near side, get a pass over to Trey Breland. On the near side for State Community Bank logo. Now to White. Check that Dillard back to. That's Breland. Breland into the paint. Got away with the walk. Kick back out. Breland's going to unload for three from the near side. Try to go bank. Couldn't do it. Gavin Harris there for the rebound. Controls things and slows it down, crossing the timeline. Uh, at the far wing, pick set, Keenan Sarvin. He's going to roll back out, but Gavin Harris is going to dish it down low to Brett Thompson, racing to the cup, but he dribbled it out of bounds. Back-to-back -back trips for the Cardinals, empty trips. One before the timeout, one out of it. Still 18-14, first half. So it is West Plains ball, 18-14, 11-39 to go in the first half. White across the timeline on the near side the near wing with a pass to pieces. Sent into the paint, kicked back out. It's Sterling White. Up high, Dillard. Top of the key to the far wing to White. Now to the near wing, back to Dillard. He's going to unload the three with Brett Thompson in his grill. Shot no good, and a offensive rebound knocked away. Breland had it, Keontae Jones stole it, and he commits a foul, so it'll be the first on Jones. His team's first. Third rebound for Trey Breland. I was interested to see this guy out of Hamden, Connecticut, off the bench. Off the bench, he averages 15.2 points a ball game. Man, I the Grizzlies just, if they'd be doing anything from three, they'd be leading this game easy. But instead, it's been a struggle. They're down by four. Isaiah Phillips in off the bench for the Cardinals. He takes the spot of Brett Thompson. Also in Ebo Drame, inbound to the right of the lane. Check that left of the lane. Shot up from Trey Breland. He's fouled, so he'll go to the line for two. Foul called against Isaiah Phillips. Okay, I can live with that. I thought the block by Keontae Jones on the backside was pretty clean, and I thought, boy, if anything on, on Jones, the block with the hand was good. If you want to call body, that's fine. Isaiah Phillips, I can live with that a little better. First one from Breland. Fell off, no good. West Plains in a little run here of four straight games and dealing with region teams. Going Moberly State Fair on the road at Mac tonight and then at Three Rivers. So they got a tough little back to backer here coming to Park Hills and then Poplar Bluff. Second one good for Breland. He Hit half of the trip there, one of two. Papa Bluff certainly a heck of a lot closer of a trip for West Plains, though. <laughs> yeah. Jameer Price to Keenan Sarvin across the timeline. Picked up his dribble, nearly walked, got it to Jameer Price on the far side. He bounces it high to Isaiah Phillips as they swap sides. Back to Price at the near side now. At the far wing, it's Phillips. Keenan Sarvin between the circles. 10 on the max shot clock. Back to Phillips, far wing. Dribbles once to Jones. Back to Phillips. To Keontae Jones, excuse me, Keenan Sarvin, his three ball was short, got front rim picked up by Isaiah Lewis. And Lewis comes the other way. Behind the back dribble, trying to get some room from Phillips. It's Lewis with it, picks that. Lewis still at the timeline, fed a pass to Pieces at the far side. Pieces to the near side, we got a whistle, a charge called against Pieces, his first. Check that second foul. We, we heard it from head coach Luke Struggy in the pregame show of their last home game when Southeastern Illinois was coming in here. They were coming off that break, and he said, we're healthy. One of the things that's going to allow us to do is try to draw more charges. They had a bunch in that game against the Falcons, and there's a big one tonight to get pieces with his second foul. Brett Thompson with it in the backcourt, guarded closely by Mo Cora. To the far side, Ibo Drame across the timeline after receiving that pass. And now Thompson sets up between the circles to run a play. Phillips at the near wing. Sarvin top of the key. Got it to Jones inside. Pass down low to Drama, and he dropped that pass off the leg. And coming the other way with it, it's the Grizzlies. Here's a spot up three ball from the far side, and it's good. That was Nico Hill. He's got six off of two triples. And we're not at an 18. That was a beautiful pass on the last trip. Drama's got to catch that ball. And that game against Three Rivers, there were several plays where he missed a reception of a pass that resulted in points against. Well, that last one was an easy two points underneath. He was wide open. 
Drame to Brett Thompson for three. Shot no good. Ebo Drame jumped too early in the rebound. Oh, off of West Plains there. It'll remain Mac Ball. The rebound knocked off the hand of Cora. They've gone to the half in the game that's currently airing on the radio side, AM 1240 KFMO, Hillsborough, and Daniel Johnson going back to his alma mater. The Hawks lead West County at the half. Mike Reeves and Glenn Berry with the call, 25-18. to 18. The only other high school games played tonight, Valley Catholic Perryville in the Chester Tournament, and girls, Valley Catholic, or Caledonia at Jefferson. Thompson pump fake on the inbound, got it to Keontae Jones. He pumped fake as he went up for a shot and laid it in. Jones with eight, and he's perfect from the field, four of four. Lewis controlling offensively for the Grizzlies. Pass to the near side, Breland. Dribbles once, guarded closely by Gavin Harris. He's into the paint. He's going to kick it back out far side for three from Nico Hill. This time, no good. And Harris with the rebound. He's quickly the other way. 9.08 to go first half. 2018 the score. Keontae Sarvin. Er, Keenan Sarvin, excuse me. And his shot, no good. He could be Keontae Sarvin if he <laughs> wants. That's fine. That rebound to Lewis. An empty trip for Mineral Area. A three ball will put the Grizzlies ahead, and we get a foul called here either against Jones or Brett Thompson. They go Thompson. That's his first. Four rebounds for Isaiah Lewis now for West Plains. He came in averaging 2.2. He's got four with 8.53 to go in the first half, and the Cardinals up 20 to 18. I feel like Mack has been in control of this game, but then you look at the board and you're like, huh, they're only up by two. It's been such kind of an easy game. They haven't been really rattled or pressured very much. And the very few three-point shots the Grizzlies have hit have kind of kept them hanging around. But I feel like the Cardinals have been in control for the most part. Inside Dillard on the far side. Here's a mid-range jumper from about 12 feet. Good from Nico Hill. He's got eight, and we're knotted at 20. Brett Thompson across the timeline on the far side. Waiting for the call from Luke Strage. Now inside the center circle. Got it to Lamonte Dorty between the circles to Jameer Price. On the far side, now Gavin Harris near side. Wing to wing pass. Thompson in the near corner. 10 on the shot clock to Jameer Price. Luke Strage went out of hold, didn't get it. Price inside. As he went up for a shot, it was knocked out of his hands cleanly and picked up the other way. Fourth Mac turnover. Isaiah Lewis with it. As the shot clock was reset, there is now 20 on it. Grizzlies, shooter, floater to the cup, shot no good. There's an offensive rebound from Ugo Ize, and it's good. He's got four. That first shot from Lewis didn't go. Ize there for the rebound. Now Brett Thompson the other way. To Jameer Price at the far side. Had Thompson to the cup, doesn't use it. Now Thompson's going to set up in the far corner. Instead, Jameer Price going to take it to the cup himself, roll around Luka Novakovic. And lay it in. And it lay going around a much taller guy. That was not an easy move by Jameer Price inside. He just kind of kept feeling pressure, feeling pressure, and kind of rolled around the pressure and eventually got to the basket. Here's Dillard to Lewis. Now to the near corner. Three ball from Nico Hill, and that one's no good. Keontae Jones picks up the rebound, and Jameer Price receives the outlet pass. Up to the cuff as he went to the paint to try and get around Lewis. He was fouled. That is the team's fourth by West Plains. The first on Isaiah Lewis. Had to wait and see who they called the foul on. West Plains shooting the basketball outside the three-point arc is three of 12. Inside the three-point arc, six of 10. Better inside. Max shutting it down. By a lot. Here's Gavin Harris from the near corner for three. No good. Rebound Trey Breland. The fourth rebound for Breland. To the near side, we get a whistle, and he stepped out of bounds. That was Nico Hill. That's a turnover. The fourth turnover for West Plains. And we get a whistle on a timeout. We'll take it with him. 6.59 to go, first half. 44 points into the game, 22 all from the Bob.
59 to play. Brett Thompson with it. Cardinal basketball out of the MAC timeout. Jameer Price across the timeline with the pass. Leaps, got it to Lamonte Doherty. Had Keontae Jones, but doesn't use it, goes the other way, and it was picked off by Isaiah Lewis, fifth MAC turnover. Back up to Lewis up high. Leaps to receive the pass. Steps and then shoots. Uh, unloads the three, no good. Keontae Jones with the rebound. He's the other way quickly to Lamonte Doherty. Pulls up. Gavin Harris straight away. Pump fake, pump fake on the three. Rolls to the cup himself and lays it in. That's Gavin Harris with five. Gavin Harris is so smooth outside the circle that when he settles into that sort of pump fake, he really sells it like he's going to shoot the shot. That's key in a good pump fake. And he's a good shooter, which means you got to honor that shot. He does a good job to get around at times to get to the rim. Lewis has it. Pass knocked away. Keontae Jones the other way. All alone. Now Lewis back. Jones off the cup. Oh, no good. And Trey Breeland picks up the rebound. That's his fifth already. First miss from the floor, though, by Keontae Jones, and he wants that one back. Hill sends it down low to Breeland in the near corner. 18 on the Grizzly shot clock. White to the far side. Lewis up off the glass. No good. Rebounds off the arm of Breeland and picked up by Lamonte Doherty. Here's Brett Thompson the other way. Trying to get around White. Does to the cup and lays it in. Brett Thompson with seven. 26-22. Mack ahead. 5.30 to go in the first half. Breeland with it. Backs up to the center circle. How he calls a play. Mack in the 2-3 zone defense. Brett Thompson out up high to meet Breeland at the near wing. To White. Now to Lewis at the far side. Back to White straight away. Dribbles in. Got around Thompson, but Thompson commits a foul. His second. Team's fourth. Out of town scoreboard check at the half. We told you Hillsborough led West County's boys 25-18. Also at the half. Jefferson's girls lead Valley Caledonia, the only high school girls team playing tonight, 25-17. The Lady Blue Jays lead that one. That's also at the half. You can follow us on Twitter at KFMO Sports BB. A couple of the South Iron Lady Panthers in the front row on the far side. Alicia Cornell over there. Maddie Ayers. Michaela Ayers and company lost the opening game over here. Wabash Valley, 72-69. Shot clock at five here. Not going to matter. West Plains stepped on the sideline and turned it over the sixth time. 4.54 to go, first half. Keep it here for the Carsmart Halftime Report where we will get you that drive around the region. Take a look at the out-of-town scores and the upcoming broadcast schedule. Brett Thompson gets the inbound, and the clock will tick under 450. Jameer Price on the far side to Kante Jones in the far corner. Back to Price. He's going to be trapped. Got it to Jones, though, along the baseline. Excuse me, sideline. As he went up for a shot, he lost it, and it hits the back of Sabian Dillard and goes out of bounds. It'll remain Mac Ball with 17 on the shot clock. They'll set up right of the lane. Ball inbounded by Thompson, got it to Lamonte Doherty. Now to the near side, Jameer Price. Had Thompson in the paint, doesn't use it. Pump fake on the pass, behind the back dribble. He's into the paint. He's going to leap up once, go up for the shot. It's no good. Rebound down there to Dillard. And the other way, it's Sterling White. Now to Isaiah Lewis. In the near corner, bouncing with the dribble is Dillard. Got it to the far side, unloading a three here. That's Sterling White, and he connects. 26-25, back ahead by Fourth one. made three for West Plains tonight as a team. Thompson trapped in the backcourt. Got it to Jameer Price on the near side. Price going to circle it back and feed Thompson top of the key. Back to Price, but it went off of his hand. No, it went off of Trey Breeland and out of bounds. And Nico Hill will come back in for the Grizzlies. Cardinals wrap up a three-game homestand with two more. Moberly on Saturday, and then Lincoln Land comes here before a road trip to State Fair a week from the night. And then the Cardinals visit the Grizzlies at West Plains, coming up on the 26th. In fact, West Plains will wrap up the regular season with the Cardinals here five days after Valentine's Day. Jameer Price around one, two, and Nico Hill and lays it in, and we get a timeout. Price with eight, and it's 28-25. 3.51 to go, first half, a full timeout by Mineral Area. You're listening to KFMO Sports Plus on a Wednesday night.
3.51 to go, first half. 28-25 the score, Mineral Area ahead. It'll be West Plains ball in the backcourt off the inbound. They're going to let it roll before Sterling White picks it up, and he does about 10 feet away from the center stripe. And he crosses the timeline with the pass to Nico Hill on the near side. Had a streaking Breland, doesn't use it. Instead goes Sterling White on the far side. Back to Breland at the near corner. Or excuse me, near wing. Pass picked off. And as Breland went to touch it, it rolls out of bounds. It'll be Mac Ball. Jameer Price will inbound. So they reset the shot clock. 3.35 to go first half. A full shot clock for Mineral Area as Isaiah Phillips gets the inbound. To Jameer Price, still in the backcourt. He picked up his dribble. Now he's going to pass it. Has Isaiah Phillips on the far side. And he gets it to him. Back to Price as they play catch. Ten seconds of the shot clock used up. Phillips on the far side at the wing. Keontae Jones sets a pick to Price. Quick pass to Harris. Down low, Sarvin. He's going to float one up, and it's no good. There to catch Sterling White. He's the other way. White at the near side. Pick set. Used correctly. Now a pass to the near side from White. Got it to Nico Hill. Pass picked off Keenan Sarvin. And now Mack coming the other way. Gavin Harris. Back-to-back -back turnovers by the Grizzlies on their last two trips. Harris to Jameer Price. Back to Harris. Top of the key. Now to Isaiah Phillips. He sets up between the circles. 15 on the Mack shot clock. Harris has it. Over to Phillips at the far side. Phillips unloads the three. Shot looked good, but it got too much back rim. And it's rebounded by two Grizzlies. Picking it up Mo Cora. And now White crosses the timeline. White to the near side, Nico Hill. Receives the pass, unloads the three, shot. Got the corner of the rim, picked up by Sarvin. The other way, Harris. Back to Sarvin. Straight away, three ball from Sarvin. Front rim, picked up Isaiah Lewis with the board. And he crosses the timeline and slows things down. Five rebounds for Lewis. He sets up top of the key. Pass to the far side, White. White. Along the baseline, pulls up for a shot from 12. It was for two, and it's good. He's got five. One-point advantage, mineral area. Jameer Price to Isaiah Phillips. Pass to Gavin Harris as he caught it. Out of bounds, and it's a turnover. Sixth turnover by Mack. High school basketball coming your way tomorrow on AM 1240 KFM North County and Central. First of back-to-back -back nights in that matchup. Girls go tomorrow. Boys go on Friday, both live video coverage of each of those. You can watch that off the website at kfosports.com. 1.51 to play, first half. We await the substitutions. Carter Kikek onto the floor. Isaiah Phillips to the bench as they switch out. Sterling White with it, the earliest that Carter Kikek has seen action this season <laughs> with 1.45 left to play in the first half. White with it to the far side, Breland. Back to White, sends it down low to Nico Hill at the post. Kicked out Isaiah Lewis for three. Shot no good. Jameer Price went all the way back to pick up the defensive rebound, and now he crosses the timeline. Price up high to Jones at the near wing. Unloads the three with a man in his grill. It's no good, and it's going to be rebounded by Keenan Sarvin as he threw it all the way back. Carter Kikek was there, but it rolls out of bounds. If he would have picked it up either way, it would have been backcourt violation. Well, I just feel like the Cardinals have settled like the last, I don't know, half of the last 12 trips for threes. They've gotten kind of caught up in this West Plains three game, and that's not really the Cardinals' M.O. They build a nice solid lead by getting inside and getting the ball to the basket, and then that sort of just disappeared. Mm -hmm. Here's Lewis with it at the far side. Five on the shot clock. Takes a three and he hits. What a play by Isaiah Lewis. He's got eight. And that gives the Grizzlies the lead, 30 to 28. Here's Price to Sarvin across the timeline. To Jones, feeds Sarvin for the give and go and Sarvin lays it in. Well, that's much better basketball when you can pull off plays like that if you're Mack. Tied at 30, across the timeline white. Now Lewis on the near side. Guarded closely by Carter Kikek and got it to White at the far side. Back to Lewis. Dribbled, picked off. 
That was Keontae Jones knocking it away. Jameer Price, three on two the other way. Price has Drame and Carter Kikek. They all close in underneath the cup, and now they got to get it out high. It's Sarvin to Carter Kikek. 20 on the game clock and the shot clock. About a half a second time difference. Here's Carter Kikek. Dribble it through the lane, and offensive charge going to be called here against Keontae Jones. That's his second. Team's fifth. So it'll be Grizzlies ball with 14.5 to go in the first half. We break out the dust mop. <laughs> it's a hard way to go when you're the visiting team <laughs> and you got to go wipe up your own water spot on the floor. Like, hey, there's a mop over there. Go get it if you want the spot gone. It's all you. As we get a... We get a 14 and a half to go first half. Fan in the seats yelling at a bench. So they will walk him out of the gym with one whole half left to play of college basketball. 30 all the score. KFMO Sports Plus, Jared Pettis, Greg Allen with you on a Wednesday night. West Plains to inbound, we get a whistle. I think the oh, clock they started the, before yeah. the ball was actually touched off the inbound. That was Luke Strage yelling at the official, telling them to reset. He's on top of things, man. Yes, he is. He's the only He's one that cares about the media. Multitasker. <laughs> He's the one that calls the media timeouts. To make sure the officials know. Now you're challenging the skills of the clock guy to set the clock at 14 and a half. There we go. Thought maybe we are going to have 14 minutes and 50 seconds for a, a little while there. Would have been a, a super long first half. <laughs> yes, it would have been. <laughs> Longest first half in history. <laughs> Ball in bounded to White. Got it across the timeline to Breland. Eight on the game clock. Breland, long pass to Lewis at the near side. Pressure from the Cardinals results in a turnover as the pass... Went over the head of Sterling White. He received it in the seats. And so with 1.9 on the clock, Mack will get last shot. A turnover number for West Plains. It started quick and then really calmed, and now it's ballooned a lot lately. It's a 10 for the game. Price inbounds Phillips. Clock ticks. Under one to play. Phillips unloads from half court and can't get it to fall. We're through one half of play. 60 points in. And we've decided nothing. 30-30 the score at the half when we come back. Carsh Martin Halftime Report on KFMO Sports Plus.
CarSmart Halftime Report. 30 all the score. We're through one half of play. Individual numbers. It is Mineral Area. They have two players with eight points. Jameer Price and Keontae Jones. They get seven for Brett Thompson. Five from Gavin Harris. And two from Keenan Sarvin. For West Plains, they also have two players with eight points. Isaiah Lewis and Nico Hill. They get five from Sterling White. Four from Ugo Eze. Three from Trey Breland and two from Sabian Dillard. Team numbers, Mr. Allen. They are super interesting. This game has had so much flow and has, it's been more kind of poetic than I think most times we sit over here. And if you look at the numbers, there have been a grand total of five free throws shot in this game. Oh, wow. That's <laughs> not a number we see a lot when we're over here. Usually one guy's gone on the line five times. The two teams have shot five free throws. There's only been 16 turnovers. It's it. This game has come down to who can make the most shots. Mm -hmm. I, I know that sounds kind of stupid. That's what basketball is all about. But Matt, Luke Stregge told us in our pregame show, the last home game, it's a possession-based game. They strive for so many turnovers and try to win that turnover count, and they're winning that turnover battle. Matt just hasn't made shots. I, it, they're tied at 30, and I feel like a game that if they, the way they play, the style they play, they should have half again as many points on the board and be leading like 45 to 30. That's what it feels yeah. like. It's not because here's the team numbers. They've only shot 46% from four on 13 of 28. They were really good at the outset and built that lead and then got caught up in that three-point game and went two of 12 from deep for 17% from beyond the arc. Meanwhile, West Plains, 41% from the floor, 12 of 29, 29% from three. That's sort of keeping the Grizzlies in the game, five of 17. The free throw line, not much there. West Plains, one of two. Mack has made two of three. The Grizzlies do own a big rebound edge, 18 to 11, but they've turned it over 10 times to the Cardinals. Six, bench scoring West Plains, three. The Cardinals, nothing. I, it's one of those games that I watch and I sit here and you try to analyze it. It's, there's, not, there's really not much to it. There's not much going on. There's not a ton of turnovers, maybe a little few too many from West Plains sitting at 10. They came in averaging 9.6 a game. Mm -hmm. They've got 10 at the half. That is a game if you're Mac, you, you're like eyes bug out of the head like some of the old cartoons, like this should be an awesome <laughs> night. And it's just not happening on the offensive end for the Cardinals, and right now you're tied at 30. It's just whenever Mac was hitting most of their shots early on in that first half, it did not feel like a close game. No. And then they kind of took their foot off the gas, sat back, and that allowed West Plains to get yep. back and tie it. Yep. We're not at 30. At the half, we'll take a break and come back with that car smart and drive around the region. You're listening to the Car Smart Halftime Report on KFMO Sports Plus. I'm just going to do a minute here and then come back. Okay. Oh, just kidding. I'm going to go a minute and a half because. <sighs> oh, Terry Ford's not playing tonight. I saw that. Yeah. Huh. Back on the Car Smart Halftime Report, we get you that drive around the region. Other games happening tonight, it is Wednesday, January 12th. Montlow State Community College and Poplar Bluff to face off against the Three Rivers Community College Raiders. That game started that game? at 7. Montlow State Community College. Not sure where they're from. Never I've heard, heard of them. <laughs> you have heard of them? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jokingly. Montlow State. All yeah. right. Montlow, maybe. All right. <laughs> 
St. Louis Community College. That's D2. I've heard of them. I know them. <laughs> they were supposed to be in southeastern Illinois tonight. That one's postponed. The other D1 Region 16 game tonight, Moberly and State Fair. That one was tipping underway or tipping off to get underway at 7.30. On the 15th of January, that's Saturday. That's another Region 16 day. North Central will take on Metropolitan. That's D2. D1, the West Plains Grizzlies. They are here tonight. They will be in Papa Buff on Saturday. And Moberly will be in town to face off against the Mineral Area Cardinals, that part of the second half of a college broadcast doubleheader on Saturday. For the Region 16 standings, it is Moberly ahead, 15-4 on the season, 2-1 in conference play. The Cardinals follow at 14-4, 2-1 in conference play. State Fair third, 12-6, also 2-1 in conference play. Moberly, 2-1 in conference play. They're 5-11. And, and Three Rivers, 9-8. They got their first win in conference play against Mineral Area on Saturday. They are 1-3 in Region 16 play. Upcoming broadcast schedule, partner? Go to Park Hills, back-to-back -back nights tomorrow and Friday. North County's in town to take on the Lady Raiders first, and then the men go on Friday. Live video coverage of both of those. We'll have it for you tomorrow night, starting at 7 o'clock. Same story on Friday. And then Saturday, you mentioned that twin bill with Pop uh, Moberly rather coming here and then you've got a good one coming up on Monday Cape Notre Dame's women are in Bonterre to meet the North County Lady Raiders who got a victory by 30 yesterday over Arcadia Valley that opens up next week you can find that schedule on the website at cavemalsports.com out of town school board through three quarters in the only girls high school matchup tonight that is up in the Festus area Jefferson and it's now a final as the Lady Blue Jays beat Valley Caledonia a final tonight of 63 Three to 43. The only other boys high school basketball game outside of the broadcast game going on right now on AM 1240 KFMO. Valley Catholic, the four seed in that Chester Invitational. They're in a fifth place semi against number eight Perryville. Through three quarters in that game on KFMO, Hillsborough leads West County 47 to 27. At the half from the broadcast table, Score 30 to 30. We haven't decided anything. 20 minutes left in regulation. It starts when we come back. You're listening to KFMO Sports Plus on a Wednesday night. Second half underway. Brett Thompson with it as Matt gets first possession. They now travel left to right on your listening device. Here's Keontae Jones spinning in the paint, lays it up and lays it in, and that gives Matt the lead to open the half. And He's that's what, 10. sorry, Jared, that's what Mac did to start the ball game. Get to the rim, penetrate. We talked about it earlier. Jameer Price and Keontae Jones did a great job, and then it all just kind of stopped, mm -hmm. and they, they didn't really get that anymore. Started chucking threes, started missing shots. Great way to start the second half. 
Dillard to Lewis, back over to Sterling White, back to Dillard, excuse me, Lewis, nearly walked. Now he's in the paint, we get a whistle, held ball as Keontae Jones got in there and got a hand on it, arrow in favor of West Plains. Mack up two. 35 seconds in, it'll be Lewis to inbound, left of the lane, got it to Nico Hill. Hill inside from about 14, got it to his teammate White. White back to Hill, near wing for three, and that one's front rim at the buzzer of the shot clock and knocked out of bounds. And so it'll be Mac basketball. Jameer Price will inbound. Off the empty trip. Mac looking to extend the lead again. Here's Sarvin to Price. Thompson on the far side. Jones coming to set a pick. Thompson to the near side. Price with it now. Price's pass knocked away by Lewis. Chasing it is Thompson. He picks it up in the backcourt. Five on the shot clock now. Four, three. Thompson sets up. Hasn't knocked out of his hands. Has to shoot. Unloads. And a fadeaway three ball. And it's no good. Offensive rebound, Keenan Sarvin. Got it to Gavin Harris. Back to Sarvin. Near wing three from Sarvin. And it's good. Keenan Sarvin off the scramble shot from Brett Thompson as time expired. Got the rebound, fed Harris, got it back and hit the three. And Sarvin with a really good rebound. He didn't have great positioning, but his length allowed him to get to that ball. White kicked out near corner, three ball from Lewis. Got backboard, Gavin Harris picks it up. Here's Brett Thompson quickly the other way. Back to back empty trips from the Grizzlies. And there's a travel. Ooh, they don't give a basket. Wow, I thought for all the world that he walked. I did too. There's a good basket for Thompson. He's got nine, and he's going to head to the line for the and one. Off the foul from Nico Hill, his first. That's the team's first. That was Euro step plus one. That was the Australian step. So a 7-0 run for Mineral Area to open this second half. We've played a minute 47. And it's good. Thompson now with 10. Sterling White, check that. Trey Breeland across the timeline. Now Lewis, far side. To the near side with a pass, it's Dillard. Pulls up, got it to White in the near corner. White's gonna push along the baseline, kicked over to Breeland on the far side. Nine on the shot clock, he's gonna take it to the cup himself. Flat-footed shot underneath the cup, no good. Sarvin knocked it over to Brett Thompson. Thompson, no look pass, oh, trying to get it to Gavin Harris, underhanded pass. Harris wasn't ready for it, it went out of bounds, it'll be a Mac turnover. And we get a substitution, it'll be Mo Cora coming in for West Plains out of Seattle, Washington. He averages 6.3 a game, has nothing so far tonight. Still a lot of action left. Lewis across the timeline, gets a pass on the near side. Over to the right wing, back to the left wing, Lewis. Now Breland, far side into inside, kicked out. This is a three shot, no good. Offensive rebound, Mokora, and it's good. He's going to get us two points there after I mentioned he had nothing. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. 38-32 the score, Mac ahead. It's Jameer Price. Now to Keenan Sarvin. Gavin Harris on the far side. Back to Price up high. Dribbles to the far wing and got it to Thompson between the circles. He's going to hold. 12 on the shot clock, bounce pass to Jameer Price. Entry feed, he's gonna spin in the paint. Get it over to Keenan Sarvin. Near corner, unloads the three, and Keenan Sarvin connects again. Eight points in the game for Sarvin. It's a 41-32 advantage, Mac pulling away. And same spot, that right corner three from Keenan Sarvin. We talk all the time about players liking certain spots on the floor. He was posted there and wanted it, and now the Cardinals gonna steal. Sarvin poked it away. Gavin Harris has it. No look pass. Drops it off to Sarvin to the cup and lays it in. Sarvin again. And we get a timeout. And the Mac bench loves it. 43 32 the score. 16 32 to play in regulation. You're listening to it on KFMO Sports Plus.
43-32 the score. Mack opening up the second half with a 13-2 run. They lead with 16.32 to go in regulation. And a opening to a second half that I think is much more like their identity. I just thought they got away from who they are in that first Richard, half. Keontae Jones knocked away the pass, picked up though by Sterling White. Sends it to the near corner, has a runner to the lane. That's Breland. He's going to go up for a shot. No, he sent it back up high. It's Lewis. He was behind the backboard when he tried to shoot it. Back to Breland in the paint. Spins up, and he's denied by Keenan Sarvin. <laughs> and he commits a foul. I think the back bench thought they were going to call goaltending, and even Luke Strickey gave the thumbs up like foul. Okay, I'm good with that, but if you're going to call goaltending, I'm going to start arguing with you. <laughs> <laughs> he gave the official the thumbs up after the call, like, okay, at least it's not goaltending, we're good. I was with him there. I didn't think it was a goaltending call. I didn't think it was either. I thought Sarvin got to it before it got to the window or before it started coming down. First one from Breland, no good. He's now one of three tonight. Gets attempt number four. He's at the line to the left. But good start to the second half by Mack, no doubt. Second one up around and knocked out of bounds. Keontae Jones was in the area. They say it went off of Mo Cora. It'll be Mack ball. And Price will inbound. To Brett Thompson. Back to Price. Still in the backcourt. Picks up his dribble. Bounces it to Thompson. Thompson across the timeline. Between the center circles. Got it to Price. Back to Thompson. With his left foot in the center circle. Now at the beak of the Cardinal. Dribbles to the far side. Sets up guarded closely by Trey Breland. Now he's going to angle to the near side. Pass it over to Jameer Price at the near wing. Back to Thompson. Top of the key. Had Price. Instead goes Jones. Backed out to Price. Three on the shot clock. Now two. Price. Pump fake shot at the buzzer. Can't get it to fall. Trey Breland with the rebound. There's an empty trip by the Cardinals. Grizzlies need to capitalize on that. Six rebounds by Trey Breland. White. Pass to pieces. And it's knocked out of bounds by the Cardinals. It was Brett Thompson trying to intercept the pass. Great defensive play, though. And so it'll be Breland to inbound. Sends it up high. It was Pieces dropping it off for White. White inside, now back out, dribbling to the far side. Pulls up just beyond the courtesy stripe. Shot back rim, Keontae Jones rebound to Brett Thompson. Luch Draghi wants him to pick up the pace. He does, to the cup, kicked out. Gavin Harris, Keenan Sarvin, far wing for three. And that's good, Keenan Sarvin with 13. Perfect from the field in this half. Here's White, floater no good. Keontae Jones again with the rebound. Jameer Price picking up the pace to Brett Thompson, far side, had to leap to receive. Go, oh, Keenan Sarvin can't tap it back in. Got the rebound though. Oh, and a spin around jumper got front rim, and it's brought off the glass by Ize. Here's White in, shot up. Oh, they're gonna go block against Gavin Harris. It's the right call, he kinda shifted to the right to draw contact, so the shot no good from Breland, who'll head back to the line for two. That's Harris with his first, team's second. But Kevin Harris has gotten a ton of playing time tonight. It's been a little different mix for the Cardinals really since the jump. Terry Ford not available tonight, also knows that Brevin McMullen in a boot on the right foot. but. You start Brett Thompson, you start Gavin Harris. It's got a little different look. That shot from Breland went in. So he gets an and one here. That gives him five, trying to make it six, and does. Score 46-35, Mack ahead by 11. They get the ball on the inbound. Sarvin to the bench. Ibo Drame checks in. So does Lamonte Doherty. Great five and a half minutes for Keenan Sarvin to start the second half. He was brilliant, three threes. And a uh, field goal inside the arc. He went four or five from the floor. Trap set on Thompson. Nearly walked. Got it to Harris. Harris back to the near side. Jameer Price unloads the three from the near wing. Oh, and it got four rims and falls in. Price with 11. The friendly rims here at the Bob. Isaiah Lewis gets it back from a pass on Nico Hill. Over to Trey Breland at the far wing. Wing to wing pass over to Pieces. He's going to dribble one. Take a step. 14 footer. And it's good. Medi Pieces 
And it's 49-37. Brett Thompson with it. Slows things down, speeds up across the timeline, picked up his dribble, got it to Lamonte Doherty. Now Price, near side, has a lane to the cup, uses it, and then sends it to the referee out of bounds. It'll be a Mac turnover. We're talking about all the international guys for these Grizzlies. They've got two from New Zealand, one from Nigeria, one from Serbia. And, and I'm sure that West Plains is a nice place. Been there a number of times, but many pieces is from Paris, France. You go from Paris, France to West Plains, Missouri, it's a different world. <laughs> yeah, <it is. laughs> you got a guy from Paris on your team. It's like, okay, that usually is not the way that works, but... Pass there, nearly picked off by Keontae Jones as he went back, knocked the ball out of bounds out of the hands of Isaiah Lewis. And so it'll be West Plains to inbound with 12 on the shot clock. I got to think if you gathered all the residents of West Plains and said, okay, how many of you are from Paris? One guy is going <laughs> to raise his hand. Offensive possession, five on the shot clock, unloads. That's a three-pointer from Pieces, and it's good. He's got five, and now a nine-point game as Mac leads with the rock. Brett Thompson slowly dribbles, picks up his speed, crosses the timeline on the far side. Now angles to the near side. Has a lane to the rim, nearly use it. He's in the paint, has to kick it out. Pass picked off. Coming the other way, Trey Breland, one on two. If he can get to the cup, oh, what a play! Oh, went under over there to finish, avoiding the swinging arm from Jameer Price. And Breland with eight. And a run by the Grizzlies here to try to stabilize things. They're down by seven, 49-42. Thompson picked up the dribble, and we get a whistle. A 10-second count and a Mac turnover. And how are the Grizzlies getting back in the ball game? Turning the Cardinals over. One turnover in the second half by the Grizzlies. That's 10 in the ball game for the Cardinals, four in the second half. 49-42 to score, a full timeout by Mineral Area. 12-31 to go in the second half. You're listening to KFMO Sports Plus on a Wednesday night. the score, Mac leading. West Plains with the ball, 12.30 to go in the first, or excuse me, second half. Isaiah Lewis with it. Pass at the top of the key, that's Novakovic. He laid it down low for a shot from Nico Hill at the basket, and he put it in for the layup. He's got 10. Brett Thompson the other way. Nearly walked, got Jameer Price across the timeline. Now at the far wing, it's Harris. Harris to Keenan Sarvin, back out to Harris. To Thompson, top of the key. 12 minutes, 12 seconds on the shot clock. Gavin Harris, J Jameer Price. Now Gavin Harris to the far side, shot no good. It's Keontae Jones, offensive rebound. Brett Thompson, three from the far side. That one gets back rim, and it's picked up by Nico Hill. Hill to Breland. Far wing, up to Lewis, top of the key. 11.35. Left to play to Luca. Luca went up for a shot, lost it off the arm of a Matt Cardinal, and out of bounds. So it'll be Midi pieces setting up the play, well, calling the play, excuse me, to inbound. That's Isaiah Lewis on the far side of the court in the corner, bounces it 
to Novakovic. Nearly walked. Pass up high. Pieces to the near wing. Lewis shot no good. It was for three. Picking up that rebound, Gavin Harris. Now Keontae Jones the other way to the cup. Shot up and a charge going to be called on Jones. That's his third personal. It is really interesting to sit courtside right by the Mac bench and you listen, well, we sort of see when West Plains calls out a play, the entire Cardinal coaching staff is talking to the guys on the bench, like here comes play, whatever it is, and they already know sort of what's gonna happen. The amount of scouting these guys do and film watching and video to break down tape and watch schemes and see what play X, whatever it is, and know exactly what's gonna happen. And then they relay that to their guys on the floor it's, it's incredible how much work is put into this. And it's incredible how quickly they pick up just the yes, signs. Yes, exactly. Here's a 10-footer from Hill. No good. Rebound, Jameer Price. And they do this every night for every opponent, you know? Mm -hmm. Even if they have games on back-to-back -back nights, they already have something set up for the next team. Yep. Here's a kickball violation by Lewis. It'll be Mac Ball to the left of their bench to Brett Thompson in the center circle 49-44 the score Mac ahead 15 on the Cardinal shot clock Thompson pump fake on a pass got it to the near side Harris back to Thompson straight away sends it inside to Keontae Jones now to Jameer Price he backs things up top of the key now he's going to push to the cup has a lane he uses it rolls it up can't get it to fall Nico Harris picks up the rebound or Nico Hill excuse me Isaiah Lewis the other way quickly Pushes off of Brett Thompson. Now he's into the paint, and they won a whistle. The Cardinals do, and they get it on the travel. It's a turnover by the Grizzlies. Just their second in the second half, and you look up at the board, and remember when Minnelari opened up the second half on a 13-2 run, whatever it was, and jumped out to a nice lead, mm -hmm. and it was like, okay, don't let off the gas. Keep the foot on the gas. Hasn't happened. You look up, you're only up by five. 10-22 to go second half in the game. Thompson with it off the inbound to Jameer Price. Here's full court pressure from the Grizzlies again. They're trapping on the near side. Bounce pass from Jones to Sarvin. Back up to Jones at the near wing. Go over to the far side. Brett Thompson pump fake on a three. Holds it instead. 15 on the max shot clock. Dribbles to the near side around the horn to Keontae Jones. Now Sarvin. Now Harris far side. Jameer Price in the far corner and he steps out of bounds. Another turnover by Mineral Area. Another empty trip too. And the Cardinals are only plus one now in that turnover count. It's 12 to 11. Lamonte Doherty, Isaiah Phillips to check in for the Cardinals. And Lamonte Doherty and a guy like Ibo Drame are two guys that were main and Drame coming in here. Those were mainstays early in the sub rotation for Coach Dreggy. That has been different tonight. I think Gavin Harris is going to have a great game. I agree. Two of four from the floor. He hit a three. He's got five rebounds. He's played good defense. He's played smart basketball. His one field goal inside was on that pump fake from mm -hmm. three and drove through a double team. I thought he's done really well. Yes, he has. He takes a seat on the no padded leather. No and Sterling yeah. White with it in the offensive territory, and it'll be a turnover by West Plains as Nico Hill steps out of bounds after receiving the pass. And if you really want to know where you rate tonight, we didn't get padded leather, so we know exactly <laughs> where we sit. At least, Literally. At least we got media timeouts, right? <laughs> that's okay, that's true. That's a good point. <laughs> you don't get leather, but we'll give you an extra minute. I'll take it every time. <laughs> I'll also take the, the padded leather every time. Yeah, we'll turn that down. <laughs> to bring your own padded leather. <laughs> Mac inbounds, Brett Thompson to Jameer Price across the timeline to Ebo Drame. Price has it back in the top corner of the court now to Brett Thompson between the circles. To Jameer Price near wing. Lamonte Doherty straight away, has Drame in the paint, kicked out, Brett Thompson, pump fake on a three, now he's going to drive towards the cup, float one up, off the glass, oh no good, but he's fouled, he'll head to the line for two. Four. Foul called on Sabian Dillard, that's his first, the team's second. 9.26 remaining second half. As I look down at my score sheet, I tallied the first half fouls for West Plains in the second half box. So I had to scratch it out and correct. <laughs> First one from Thompson, good. He's got 11. He's 4-4. Four four. That's just the fifth Cardinal foul shot of the night. West Plains has also only taken five, and Trey Breland owns all of them. 
It's just not been an inside kind of slugging games. And the times the Cardinals have been able to penetrate and get inside, there haven't been many fouls. I mean, there's only 10 free throws in the whole game. Second one from Thompson. No good. Rebound to Breland. Hands it off to White in the backcourt, and White crosses the end of the front court on the far side. Now between the circles, White dribbling behind the back, 20 seconds on the shot clock. Kicked out, Breland near corner. Up to White, near wing. White to the right corner. Check that left corner, and they're going to go block there on Brett Thompson. That's his third. Mac Faithful not happy with the call. It's the second charging foul on Brett Thompson. That one looked cleaner than the others. He probably could have drawn a charge there. So that'll reset the shot clock to 20 seconds for West Plains. That'll rebound left of the lane. It'll be Lewis. Needs to get it in, bounces it down low. That's Ize and we got a whistle on a travel and a turnover. 14th for the Grizz. 9.04 to go, regulation, six point advantage and the rock for the Cardinals. It's Brett Thompson, Jameer Price as they play catch in the backcourt. Price picks up the dribble, lob pass to Brett Thompson. He's gonna cross the timeline on the far side. Now he's gonna dribble between the legs, try and get some room. Has drama made on the near side, instead looks him off, got it to Price. Back to Thompson, near wing three. Thompson, and it's good, Brett Thompson with 14 and we get a timeout, it's a full, we'll take it with them. 53-44 the score, Mac trying to pull away on a Wednesday night. to play, regulation, 53-44 the score, Manila area on top, Grizzlies with it in offensive territory, that's Sterling White, he's now to the near side, nearly walked, got it over to Isaiah Lewis in the near corner, he dribbles it up high, pass off the leg of Jameer Price, picked up Lamonte Doherty, he's going to hold it and hand it off to Brett Thompson, Thompson running across the timeline to the near side, to the cup himself, no he pulls up in the paint, now he's got to pass it, got it to Ebo, drama at the near wing, to Harris, back up to Thompson as they set things up between the circles. 15 on the shot clock, Jameer Price to Lamonte Doherty. Now to Brett Thompson on the near side as they go around the horn. Down low, it's Ebo Drame from 12 feet, back up high, Thompson. Now Harris, top of the key, five on the max shot clock. Sent down low, tried to get Drame, picked it up, but he stepped out of bounds and turns it over. It's the second time tonight that Drame's had a pass right to him and it went right through his hands. One time underneath on the other side of the floor, wide open down low. That was a little more contested. Still should have handled the pass. Don't know what the end result would have been. And Drami will check out as Keenan Sarban, who's had a rock-solid second half, comes back in. It's been a couple of junctures in this second half. Right out of the box, the 13-2 run, and right now, where I just feel like the, the Cardinals are primed to just sort of pull away and put this game away. Didn't happen after the 13-2 run. Grizzlies got back in, and we'll see what happens here. White with the ball, gets around Isaiah Phillips, kicked it out Nico Hill. He's going to unload a three from the near wing and get nothing but net. He's got 13, and that leads the Grizzlies, and now it's a 53-47 game. And that's just their second made three in the second half. 
Phillips picked up his dribble, was trapped by three. Got it across to Keenan Sarvin. Now to Harris on the give-and-go to Sarvin. Shot, can't get it to fall. Hill picks up the rebound. The other way, it's Breland. All the way to the near side with a court-wide pass. It's White. Now to Hill. Nudged by Harris. Hill to the cup himself. And it's... I don't... They're going to call an offensive charge here. That's the second for Hill. Team's third. Hill's going to be taken out of the game as he was slow to get up there on that play. Hill tried to go over a Matt Cardinal. I believe it was Harris in the area. Either way, it'll be Mac Ball. Clock ticks, 7.25 to go. Price to Phillips, across the timeline to Jones. Back to Price. Use the speed to get inside, kick back out. Grizzlies coaching staff wanted to travel, didn't get it. Sarvin, down low to Jones, up and under, can't get it to fall. There's an offensive rebound for Price. He's underneath the cup. He pump fakes. He puts it up, and it's no good. There's Harris with an offensive rebound. Kicked up high, Isaiah Phillips. They slow things down. Harris, Keenan Sarvin, near side three ball, high off the glass. Oh, can't get it to fall. Keenan Sarvin tried to tap back, and Breland steals it. To Sterling White, Brett Thompson ready to check in. White unloads a three, shot no good. There's a defensive rebound this time by Jones. Coach Strager wants them to speed up the pace. They do. Phillips to Harris in the near corner. Harris turns, finds Jones far side. Jones to the paint himself, and that's going to be a block shot. Oh, can't get it to fall. Jones will go to the line for two. Blocking foul called against Midi Pieces, his third. Both teams now with four fouls. We'll take another break. 53-47, get you out of here to pay some bills on a Wednesday night from Park Hills. the score, under seven to play in regulation, 6.36 to go. Jared Pettis, Greg Allen with you on a Wednesday night. Keontae Jones at the line to shoot two. First one from Jones, good. He's got 11. North County and Central girls, the broadcast game tomorrow night, pregame floating at seven o'clock. Live video coverage on the website at kfmosports.com. Same two schools on the boys' side Friday. Also video. Jones hits them both. Back-to-back days where Greg gets the comfy chairs. Yes, padded chairs. They don't give those to us here. We're not special enough here at the college. As we say loud enough for Luke Strager to hear. <laughs> that, that's probably outside of his <laughs> purview. That's got to be a uh, got to be an AD thing. That, that's a that's a Jim Gerwitz deal. We'll, we'll hang him for the, the <laughs> lack of the padded leather. Sterling White with an offensive trip for the Grizzlies. Got it to Trey Breeland, top of the key. Hand off Lewis. Lewis inside, kicked out. Nico Hill, far side, three ball, front rim, no good. Keenan Sarvin, rebound. Brett Thompson, two on one the other way. Has Jameer Price. Thompson to the cup himself. Lays it up and lays it in. Thompson with 16 in the game. That was a tough take in all kinds of traffic. Breeland the other way for the Grizzlies. Now to Sterling White on the near wing. 18 on the shot clock. Boy, Thompson's had a really good game tonight, too, for the Cardinals. Isaiah Lewis 
to White, now on the far side. White inside at the far post, pulls up for a shot and hits. White with seven, and we get a timeout, West Pines. His first field goal, by the way, in five tries in the second half, Jared. It's a full timeout. We'll take it with them. 57-49 the score. Mack looks to turn the tide as they lost on Saturday. They lead 57-49. Five forty-seven to play, 57-49 the score. Mack on top with the rock. Keontae Jones in the backcourt, nearly lost it. Picks it back up, got it to Gavin Harris. Harris now to Brett Thompson across the timeline. Thompson to the far side, Price. Price from four feet, guarded by three. Still spinning down low. Somehow got it over to Keenan Sovereign on the near side. Gavin Harris for three from the near wing. And that one's good for Harris. He's got eight. And the Cardinals up 11. White to the far side, Breeland back to White. They play catch up top. To Breeland on the far side, inside, kick back out to the far corner. Three ball from Pieces, and it's good. He is three of three in the second half. He only took one shot in the first half, missed it. All eight of his points here in the second. Brett Thompson gets it to Gavin Harris. Keontae Jones give and go to back to Tom, uh, Harris. Excuse me. Pass picked off, another Mac turnover. The other way, Pieces has a man to the cup. That's Breeland. His shot was denied by Jones, and it rolls out of bounds. And Breeland cannot believe it wasn't a foul call as he talks to the official. Heck of a block on Keontae Jones' effort. I mean, I'll meet you at the rim is what that was. Great play to uh, get the block cleanly yeah. there, too. No doubt. So we get a whistle, got to clean up some... Liquid on the floor. I think Prelim was doing a little chirping after that. Wasn't a foul, and the officials had had enough of it. Jones and Breland still having a conversation down there. It'll be Breland to inbound right of the lane. 19 on the shot clock for the Grizzlies. Inbounds to Nico Hill. Shot clock ticks. Hill lost it. Jameer Price picks it up across the timeline on the far side. Price going to take it to the cup himself. Shot. Oh, but he traveled. And Luke Strege pleading for a call. Well, whether that was a travel or not, I want to take you back to that last inbound. The Mac bench called what was going to happen off that inbound. They knew that Keontae Jones' man was going to post, and the word was Keontae deny. His man couldn't post, couldn't get to the baseline, resulted in a turnover. That's the kind of prep and strategy we talked about earlier. That was a turnover that the Mac bench and coaching staff basically bought the team. Once again, an assist to yeah. the coaching staff. No doubt. Sterling White with it, offensive territory. Swirling around and dribbling behind the back. Now between the legs. Got it to Hill from the far wing. Unloads a three and Hill connects. 16 for Nico. And now it's just a five point advantage. Again, I can't, can't separate completely. Full court pressure, Brett Thompson gets through and they're gonna call a foul here. In the area it was Lewis and Mo Cora. I believe they went with Cora. They did his first. Just the fifth club foul on the Grizzlies in the second half that has 418 to go in it and West Plains trails by five. Thompson outlet pass to Keontae Jones. To Gavin Harris, step back, thought he was gonna take a three, instead goes Brett Thompson. 
Thompson between the circles. 4.05 to play in regulation. Mack leads by five. Price with it. 15 on the Mack shot clock. Brett Thompson thought about a three and said sends it down low. Gavin Harris to the near corner for Keontae Jones, and he hits a three. Jones with 15. Luke Strege wanted a timeout and didn't get it. It'll be Grizzlies basketball. Sterling White across the timeline. But Cardinals love to take those corner shots. Keenan Sarvin hit two from that identical area earlier. Here's Hill on the far side. Sent it down low to Cora. Kick back up high. Lewis now to Sterling. Had a man cutting to the cup. That was Dillard. Doesn't use it. Looks him off. Goes to Lewis. Far side for three from another area code. Got front rim. Brett Thompson brings it down. Three on two the other way. Now five on four. Thompson to the cup himself. Shot no good. He'll go to the line for two. They go with Sterling White on the foul. That's his first. The last team foul for West Plains to give. That'll put Mack in the bonus on the next foul. Thompson has two here. First one good. Give him 17 points in the matchup tonight. And if he hits this, it'll be a 10 point game. Second one good, 65-55 the score. 3.20 left to play. Across the timeline, that's Breland. Sets up at the near wing, guarded closely by Keontae Jones. Bounce pass to Lewis, top of the key. Thrown to the far side for White. Sent into Breland, inside perimeter, kick back out. Pump fake on a three, that's Pieces. He unloads now this time. Shot no good. Gavin Harris with the defensive rebound. Got it to Brett Thompson. Three minutes to play. Thompson across the timeline. One hand pass to the far side, Jones. Jones with the cup himself. One underneath. Shot no good. Lamonte Doherty can't get it to finish on the rebound. Put back. Lamonte, or check that. Keontae Jones with the rebound this time. It's Jameer Price. They back things up now. 15 on the max shot clock. Over to Brett Thompson on the near side. Dribbles to the far side. Got it back to Price at the far wing. Now to Lamonte Doherty straight away. No look pass into the paint at the post. Back up high. Doherty. Front rim on the three. And it's Breland to pick it up. Empty trip for the Cardinals. Allows the Grizzlies to get back in this thing. Here's Lewis to the cup. Pump fake on the layup attempt, and it's going to roll around and fall in. Lewis, he's got 10, and we get a timeout. West Plains, it's a 30. We'll take it with him. 2.23 to go in regulation. Mac leads 65-57 on the Parkland Sports Leader, KFMO Sports Plus. Riley Palmer's bunch fell in the opener of today's broadcast schedule, 72-69. That was on KFMO. They have a high school game. Are they in the post game yet there? Yes. West County dropped that game to Hillsboro, 63-39. Jameer Price receives the pass from Keontae Jones off the inbound. Bounce pass from Harris to Jones. Back to Harris at the near wing. Now to Price, spinning in the paint. Price up and good! Jameer Price with 13. What a play, and it's a 10-point advantage, Mac. His first made field goal inside the three-point arc in the second half in five tries. Here's Breland, bounces it to White. Near corner three ball, shot no good. Offensive rebound, though, for Cora. Kicked it out to the far side. It's Hill. Hill along the baseline, and they go kickball violation. I believe it was Keenan Sarvin. Well, you're up 10 with a minute 51 to go. If you're the Cardinals, you're sitting in pretty good shape. You're kind of nearing one of those situations. If you don't turn it over and you make your free throws, you should be home free. Up 10. You've held your opponent to 57. Greg Allen Math tells me this game's been over for a while if you're up 10. I mean, you're trying to score 10 points in a minute 51. You've scored 57 all game. They reset the shot clock to 14 seconds. It was at 24, I believe. And so on the inbound, it'll be Isaiah Lewis, right of the lane. 
Had Breland underneath the cup. Uses it. Breland pushes off of Jones. Receives the inbound about 12 feet away. Unloads a fadeaway jumper shot. No good. Lamonte Doherty had it and lost it in the paint. There's Lewis. Check that. Sterling White. Up. Oh, no good. To Breland. White near corner for three. And White can't finish. Offensive rebound. Nico Hill. He goes up for the putback. No. Pump fake. Send it down low to Lewis. Check that. Breland. And as he fell down to receive the pass, they go jump ball arrow Mac. What a play down low on the scramble effort. That's just tough defense. I know you don't want to get an off or defensive rebounds. You're giving up offensive boards. But to prevent the ball from going in is good defense by the Cardinals when it's all said and done. 1.30 to play. Brett Thompson nearly walked. There's going to be a whistle. Are they going to go foul? They will. It is Breland. Oh. That's his first, the team's seventh. So that puts Mack in the bonus. We walk down court for Brett Thompson. He's going to shoot a one on one. Well, I thought that was good defense. I thought that was just two guys tying up one, and Thompson had nowhere to go. They easily could have gone held ball there. Breland talking with the official about it. Christian Robbins, a 6'3 sophomore out of West Plains, Missouri, checks in for Trey Breland. Mac up 10, 1.28 to play. Well, Christian Robbins, 38% from deep. You're going to need points. You're going to need them in a hurry. And now we get a player not listed. Sam Coban. Sam Coban. Number 50 for the Grizzlies. First one from Thompson, good. Well, Thompson's been good at the free throw line tonight. Seven of eight. This one would give him 20 points in the evening. Second one from Thompson, off the glass and good. And so the other way, 69-57 the score, Mac ahead. Sterling White with it. Pick set there from Coban. White has it, gets it to Coban. Spins around in the paint and floats it up, and Coban puts it in. It's a 10-point advantage, Mac. 1-10 to go. Jameer Price to inbound. Gets it to Thompson. Far pass. Three on one. Lamonte Doherty. Gavin Harris. Oh, I think he wanted Keontae Jones instead. Doesn't go with him. Now to Jameer Price. In the paint. He's going to circle it back out. 50 seconds to play. 20 on the Mac shot clock. Price floats it over the head. Got it to Brett Thompson. Over Lewis. And now Thompson has it. 12, 11, now 10 on the max shot clock. Sends it to the near side, Lamonte Doherty. Coach Schrage wanted it to the rim, doesn't take it. Doherty went it all the way out, pass tipped away, and Doherty gets it back and lays it in. Doherty with two, and we get a timeout. We'll keep this one here. 33.2 to go in regulation. It's a 30-second timeout. Mac up 71-59. Well, it's a good win. I think it was a little out of style for middle area tonight. Their M.O. is sort of forced turnovers, have a little more pace to a game. And I think the turnovers themselves, it's, it's ironic. The Cardinals who sort of pride themselves on having more possessions and it's a possession-based game, they're only plus one in the turnover count. That's, that's not kind of the norm in the way they operate. Mm -hmm. uh, they're going to get out of here with a win, obviously, 71-59 to 59 with 33 seconds left in the ball game. But I think they've done it a little bit out of character. Not that that's bad, it's just different. Seven-foot freshman Dallas Clayton out of Wellington, New Zealand. Checks into the game. Ball inbound and Grizzlies with the ball. Also on the floor for the Grizzlies, Reese Dotson. With it, Sterling White across the timeline. Sets up between the circles. 23 on the game clock. 20, check that, 17 on the shot clock. White with it still. Kicked it over to the near corner. Here's a three ball from Dotson. That went behind the basket. I believe Kante Jones may have got a hand on it. And now Brett Thompson will dribble, dribble out the clock. 71-59, the final score. Thompson quickly across the timeline and slows things down. Final score, 71-59. The Cardinals win in the nightcap of the broadcast. Triple header, double header on the radio side, single broadcast on KFMO Sports Plus. We'll take a break and come back for the 
post-game show and wrap things up and hopefully hear from head coach Luke Stregge. That's next on KFMO Sports Plus. On the post-game show, Mineral Area wins this one 71-59 to as we sit down with head coach of the Mineral Area Cardinals. That's Luke Stregge. Coach, we were unable to talk to you in the pre-game. Yeah, I missed it. Due to back-to-back -back games. We will get to sit down with you in the post-game, though. Following that win, a performance in that first half, me and Greg talked about it. It didn't you know, didn't really have any chance to pull away, and when you guys did pull away, it kind of seemed to us that you took took your foot off the gas. Is that kind of what you guys saw tonight? I don't know. I'll go back and watch the film later. I don't really remember. Um, I, I didn't really look at the score a lot to see what the stretch was. I just tried to them tried to maintain the energy and the effort the whole time because we were basically playing five guys. Um, so there were times when they were dragging, and all I was trying to do was just um, just pull them along to keep it going. So. Um, I, maybe maybe we got up. I don't know what was our highest lead. I don't, Twelve is pretty good. I don't remember it being bigger than that. I, it always felt like it was six or eight. Mm -hmm. 
um, where we could never really pull away because we were tired. Um, but, uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe maybe we should have won by 20. I don't know. Would you attribute that to still being rusty from the, the, the break? No. I, we just, we just, they're a good team. They're a good team. They shot it well. I mean, they made a ton of shots, deep threes. You know, we, we played some zone because we were just limited on, on guys. And, um, you know, we got a lot of guys that are out. We'll be out for a couple weeks. And, um, so we just, you know, we're really shorthanded. So we're just trying to figure a way to win. For us, you know, our last three real college games, we've given up 83 points, 73 points, and 80. Mm-hmm. And we just can't win that way. Um, before that, eight of nine teams, we had held below 60. And so this is how we win. We got to win by holding them below 60. And then we held them 59. So, I, you know, I, I put those numbers on board for the guys before, and I, I said, listen, 60 is our number. And, and we told them we would know at half what shape we were in, and we were at 30 at half. So they knew that we were in it. And then offensively, we just had to make a shot or two. I mean, goodness, um, it, was, it was ugly offensively at times. But you hold the team to 59, you got a chance to win, and, uh, and then there will be nights where we make shots, especially in our gym, a lot better. Huge night from Brett Thompson. He had 20 points. Tremendous. Trying to get, it seems like he's getting more back on the saddle as far as point scoring goes. He had a couple games <coughs> during the first half of the season where he wasn't putting as much up, but he wasn't getting as many starts. He got the start tonight, put up 20 points. So what does that mean for your team having a guy like that? Well, we needed a guy to score. Like, we needed somebody to make shots. I said to him, half time, BT, you just need you to score. Like, you know, he's trying to be unselfish and play the one, and, 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 um, and he isn't. But, you know, you know, Terry didn't play one minute today. Um, Isaiah just wasn't ready at the one. I didn't, I didn't get him ready um, well enough to be ready for that press. And um, so basically I just told ready to play. Uh, so he, he, did, he did a decent job. We turned it over a little bit too much, um, but just great reps against the press. I love the press attack in the second half. We just settled in against it. And, you know, it, shouldn't, it really shouldn't bother us at all. So, um, you know, I, I liked it. I wish we were a little more aggressive against it, but we figured it out and scored enough to win. Keenan Sarvern had a huge night from perimeter. If he adds that to his game more during the season, is that going to be? That is his game. Like, we don't have to add it. That's basically what he's got. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know what he's got to add to it. He, that's what he does. That's why he's here. I mean, if he was a back-to-the-basket guy, we wouldn't have him. We, 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 don't, we don't really coach those guys. So, um, you know, we want perimeter players, and that's, that's what he does. And uh, Boy, when he makes shots, it really gives us a boost and a lift. In the first half, he struggled, and then he came out and went, went out like an 8-0 run himself there mm-hmm. at the beginning, and it really helped us. And we started to play fast, and that was great for us. And then I think we got tired, and then the game became sluggish and slow in a, in a wrestling match. And, um, but they're a good team. You know, they're a really good team. They were tied for first with us um, coming in this game. So, you know, for, for us to win by one is tremendous. Um, uh, just just to win this game is 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 tremendous because they're they're well coached, uh, they've got good players, they really shoot it, <coughs> and it's a league game. So we're we're just excited to win a game. It felt like we hadn't won in months. Um, so we're excited that we won one, and uh, we got another one on Saturday. We'll see you on Saturday. Yes, sir. You got Moberly coming up on Saturday. What does that <coughs> win a, early on in the season a, mean? That's a big game. That's a good game. A, a really good team, well coached, uh, great kids. Alrighty. All right. See. You. Yep. That is. Seventh-year head coach of the Mineral Area Cardinals, Luke Strigge. His team winning tonight, 71-59, and they improved to 15-4 and on the season. As we get a, take a look at our numbers, we'll start with the team numbers, Greg. First up for Mineral Area Cowboys, they go to 15-4 and on the year, and they shoot 47% from the floor. West Plains is 8-12 and overall. They shoot 39% from the floor. Three-point shooting, each team took a ton. West Plains took a few more. They were 9-32 of 32 from deep for the Grizzlies. That's 28%. Cardinals 38% from beyond the arc, 9 of 24. There were 56 three-point shots attempted in this game. There weren't a lot of free throws. When you're standing outside chucking, you're not doing a lot of stuff inside. Middle area college, 10 of 12 at the stripe. They were 83%. Five free throws for the Grizzlies, and Trey Breland took them all. He was 2 of 5 from the line, so the team was 40%. Rebounding edge actually went the Grizzlies way, 30-28. And turnovers... Mac was plus one when it was all said and done. You just heard their head coach, Luke Strecky, say we turned it over too many times. 14 was the number. Mac came in averaging 12.3. They had a little around two more than that tonight, while the Grizzlies turned it over 15 times. Bench scoring, West Plains with 16, Mac with two. Cardinals win it. Final score, 71-59. to Jared's got the individual particulars. We'll start with Mineral Area. They are victorious tonight. They were, red, they were led by Brett Thompson with 20 points. They also get 15 from Keontae Jones, 13 from Jameer Price and Keenan Sarvin, 8 
from Gavin Harris and two from Lamonte Doherty. For West Plains, the Grizzlies, they were led by Nico Hill with 16. They got 10 from Isaiah Lewis, 8 from Trey Breland and Madi Pieces, 7 from Sterling White, 4 in the game from Ugo Ize, and 2 points from Mo Cora and Sabian Dillard. That will wrap up our coverage tonight of Mineral Area Athletics. Final score in this one, 71-59. Big shout-out to Rico Marler doing a great job on our first broadcast in studio. Mike and Glenn from West County. Greg Allen and Jared Pettis saying good night from a Wednesday night. We're back in action tomorrow with high school basketball. It's North County Girls and the Central Rebels. And then on Friday, the North County Boys are in Central. Greg gets the comfy chairs. I'll be at home both nights, so I guess I'll have a comfy chair as well. Hey, I'll you watch on the video battle. time. <laughs> I'll watch on Thursday and Friday on video both days, and... I will join you again on Saturday for a Mineral Area doubleheader. Final score in this one, 71-59. Mac wins in the broadcast closer. I'm Jared Pettis saying good night.